Good morning, Year 5 and 6, and welcome to English Lesson 2 for this week, following on from yesterday. As you know, this week we are writing from a character's viewpoint, and hopefully you've either chosen to write as the rat or the child that got left behind. And for this lesson, you're going to need Planning Sheet 2 and the poem, The Pied Piper of Hamlin. So if you can get those ready, pop this on pause while you find them. Make sure you've got them in front of you. Now, yesterday we talked about nouns and adjectives. Today in our planning, we're going to be looking at verbs and adverbs. And I'm sure you remember that verbs describe actions. There are lots of words, verbs in the poem to describe the way the rats move. Here are a few of them, tumbling and followed and dancing and plunged. And at the end, I felt I just needed to put scampering in there because that seemed to me to be exactly the word for how the rats moved. Also in the poem, there are lots of words to describe how the children moved as they danced along. And there's some interesting ones here because there's a lot of rhyming words like tripping and skipping and hustling and jostling. So I've listed those and you can make, write some of your own. Now, if you look at your planning sheet, you've got some space here to come up with some verbs. So pause your video and either choose from that list, look at the poem or think of some verbs of your own to fill in this column here. Right, hopefully you've got a list of interesting verbs here. If you think that's a bit of a everyday word and I might make something a bit more interesting, you could have a look in the thesaurus, see if you can find a different word with a similar meaning. Right, I'm sure you've noticed that on the second part of the chart, it asks you to find adverbs. So what I've tried to do is to choose some adverbs to go with each of the verbs. So I've got tumbling swiftly, uh, eagerly followed, happily dancing. So pop the video on pause again and see if you can think of some adverbs to fill in this side of your chart. Right, hopefully you've got your chart full of fascinating vocabulary that you can use now. And at the top of the page, it reminds you of the structure of the piece of work as well. You may have some notes from yesterday on that that you can use. Right, in the second part of today's lesson, we're going to look at different sentence types that we might use, different sentence structures. So the first thing I imagine we might do is to open with a verb. Well, my example is to start with clapping. So I've got my verb and then my adverb there at the start of the sentence, which is now clapping happily, we twisted and turned. Of course, you will notice there are actually three verbs in that sentence. Second option is to open with an adverb. So instead of dancing wildly, I've now got wildly dancing, just to vary it a bit. So I've got wildly dancing, we followed the music. Pop the video on pause for a minute and go back to your planning sheet at the bottom here and see if you can write your own version of these sentences, drawing on the verbs and adverbs that you've used so far. Right, you should now have two really interesting sentences that you can build into your writing. Let's have a look at the other two options on here. This one is opening with an adjective. So maybe using yesterday's planning sheet to help you here. We've got towering steeples lined the narrow streets. So we start with towering steeples from yesterday's planning sheet. And the last one I'm suggesting you have a go at is the power of three, which you've seen before, where you repeat something three times. So in this particular one, I've chosen verbs. I tripped, skipped and tumbled across the cobblestones. But you could also do a power of three sentence using your adjectives from yesterday. All right, that's the end of today's video. And you just need to complete the bottom part of planning sheet two and then you will be good to go tomorrow. Bye for now.